STG Repairs has served our customers since 2008 in Miami. STG Repairs team fixes almost all smartphones, tablets, and computers on the market. It also specializes in board level repairs, troubleshoot board level problems, no touch screen function, no backlight, no power. Replace knocked off SMD components on any board. Problems with water and other liquid damage and charging problems. We also do factory unlock, software errors, data transfer and recovery. We have a very solid reputation in the repair community. Our clients can count on our experience. Our goal is reliable service and competitive prices. Today we are going to work iPhone 6s that is it has no image okay I just received this from another store and we going to show you how it looks here we are missing the two screws holders see here we're missing the two screw holders but we can easily see that is we have a filter that is explode so let's see the first thing we're going to do just this is just to show you let me go to the cxw so you can see this on the cxw let me go to a cxw here okay if we go to a cxw okay the filter that is uh, right now that is damaged that we can see that is damaged is this second filter which is that one there and this filter it goes to as you can see here bl means back line it goes to the another line here so it goes to the pin 3 on the lcd fpc connector lcd touch fpc connector which is this one here if we continue the line Okay, it's going to go to two dials, two capacitors, and one back uh, driver boost IC. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, boost IC drive uh, IC backlight driver boost IC, which is this one. So we are just going to replace that filter to see if we are able to fix it if by any reason uh, we don't fix it we have to continue the line uh, i'm going to show you you see something okay we're going to here go here okay first thing oh i forget to show you something okay here okay as you can see here the most important thing okay this is the filter that is defective, that is exploded, which goes to the back line and other line, okay? So the easy way, let's say we don't have any, uh, let's say the back line looks good. You don't see any physical damage. You just go, you can check pin by pin. You can check pin by pin and to make sure we have the correct resistance. In this case, we are going to check that one. So you are going to see We're going to see this. And that pin number three, we're supposed to have, you see here, where is the resistance for this one? I'll have the, let me change here. Okay, let's go to, okay, right here. Pin number three, we're supposed to have around 506. So let's see if we have any resistance on that pin. Okay, going to go to Diamo. And then the red is going to go to ground, and the black one is going to be on the pin that you want to check. Okay, remember we're supposed to have 506, around 506, it's never going to be the same. Let me see if you can see there. Okay, 
Okay, right there. So you can see we have OL, open loop. And on the first one, we have 598. It's, we're supposed to have around 598 and we have 306, which, which is good. And the, and the number five, we have 606. They say we have around 598, so we are fine. So as you can see here, we have open loop on the pink number three. And if you are able to see this, now we are going to replace that filter going to remove the coding around to see if you can see there. Just going to remove the coding. Just remove the coding. The filter is coming by itself. I'm not using, I'm only using 200 heat with a uh, 30 air. So at this temperature, there is no way that I'm going to melt any soldering. Okay, so as you, this is coming because it's already the solder. So you can clearly see that filter there. Okay, so now we're just going to remove it. Let me turn on the smoke absorbent. Put a small amount of flux. You can add, they say in this case, I'm not gonna use any heat. So just add to the tip. And you see it's already out. You add a small amount of uh, solder to the tip and then it's going to be out. Let me see here. just cleaning the pads a little bit you don't want to clean too much because you're going to put the new one there let me remove that one because that one is let me put a fresh let to put a fresh if you don't want to put a fresh there you can just already sew the new one. I'm going to press, I don't, I see that it's not bright enough. That's because it burns. So we're going to put just fresh. It's not necessary, I'm just going to do it because. Perfect. So you can see it's, now we are going to add fresh. We can use solder paste. We can use regular solder. In this case, I'm going to use a small amount of solder paste. It's right there, and it's right there. Perfect. Let's add the, let's uh, put a new filter. Just realize I only have very low inventory on these filters. I think I have less than 10. Okay, oops, I removed two. So I'm gonna put one back. Okay. Put it to the back here, so you can see I have it here. So now we're just going to resolder the new one. You always put flux. Remember, flux is the is going to help you to solder easy. It's going to dissolve the any solder faster. The combination with the flux is what it helps to make the
they join That's it. Perfect. You see, I didn't use any heat, just the regular solder tip. I touched the two sizes. And I was able to do that because I removed the all sorted that it was on the pad and I add new and fresh solder. Okay, that's ready. After if we want we can add a coating. Okay, let's test. We're going to test now the Let's test this. Going to test the pin number three to see if we have any new results. Or if the line is completely sure. Okay. We have number three. We have 502, and we're supposed to have 506. So this means we are okay. There's no short to ground. So by now we should post to have an image, okay? Let me see here. Just click, let me clean a little bit. Okay. Let me bring the screen. Let's see if we have a good result and if we have image again. By reading the connector, reading the resistance on the connector, we're supposed to have image now. As you can see, we have image there. The only thing we have no, phone is, has no, it's no charger, it's a, uh, has no, the battery apparently has no charge. Let me see. Going to see there. Let me bring a new battery so you guys can see. It's there. Most of the time, there's no, but the body no charge. So that's why usually we charge every single battery. Okay, let's try again with a brand new battery. Okay, let's see now. Oh, this battery is also, I believe this battery is about, it's a brand new battery. Let me get another one. Let me turn off this. Let me get another battery. That's brand new. But has no charge. Get another one here. Let's see now. Okay. Hopefully with this one, hopefully this battery is charged. 
yeah, this body has this charge. So we are going to have image now. Let's see. At least we have the Apple logo, and it's right there. So you can see here, this phone has turned has been uh, fixed just by replacing a filter. Okay, in this case, we were able to see that the filter was damaged. Sometimes you are not going to be able to to see the filter damage. What you have to do is just go to the LCD FP, uh, LCD digital PC connector, and you will have to read all the resistance. The resistance that I have to go with it. In this case, it was backlight, so you only have to look for the those, uh, those pins that I have to, that involve the backlight, okay? So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. We continue next time.